I'm here at the Taft Museum in Cincinnati, Ohio, and I'm looking at the uh, art from the uh, philanthropist Charles and Anna Taft. Another interesting note, uh, Nicholas Longworth and his wife here are mentioned. He was, as it's brought out here, a horticulturist, a winemaker, and an art patron. We also have Martin Baum, who was a merchant, entrepreneur, and builder, and evidently a patron of the arts. We have David Sinton here, a businessman who uh, immigrated from Ireland as a child and moved in this house uh, with his 21 old daughter Anna after Anna Mary Charles Phelps Taft the couple lived with Sinton in the mansion around 1890 and Sinton added his own master suite where you are located now the room to your right was his bedroom These are pictures of uh, the trains and the uh, landscaping back in the 1890s. Steamboats, no doubt, on the Ohio River. A gentleman fishing off the river bank. Night fishing, night on the boat. Very interesting. Next two pictures are denoting a person searching for an inn to stay and the interior of the inn. Uh, this, these two next, the next two pictures are. Uh, speaking of uh, lunch on the boat, and a word of Cambrone. So they're having conversation, no doubt discussing the uh, events of the time. Next picture is depicting the studio or a room on the boat. You can see it's very. Uh, very humble. The next two pictures are depicting uh, the children pulling a cart and a cowboy hauling the tow rope. Could you imagine uh, children doing work like this today in the uh, Technical, technological age where um, the brain is used more so than bronze. Next two uh, portraits are depict a lunch before going abroad at as nearest and moving into the Botin. Very humble beginnings. And these paintings are, were done by a French landscape uh, painter, Charles Francois Dobigny, I believe, the pronunciation. The next uh, portrait is uh, depicting the boat trip. This depicts the communicants by Eugene Isabey. Portrait of Nicholas Longworth. Well, it looks like we have a Celtic cross here and uh, several other memorabilia. Let's see what it says. Uh, processional cross. 
Moors class for religious garments and the Annunciation. Triptych with the crucifixion of St. James and St. Catherine of Alexandria. And double reliquary, rela, reliquary with Christ resurrected, Mary Magdalene and St. Catherine of Alexandria. So very interesting uh, depiction here. This one is called The Virgin Tile by Benedetto Buglioni. Beautiful art. This one is called Virgin Child, which is depicted as being around 1260, Paris, France. Platter with three episodes from the life of Esther. Plaque from a triptych in Christ healing the blind. Also a cup with Pompeia Paulina. Saucer with Judith in the head of Holo Fearness. Who were in Lot and his daughters below a band of putti. So a lot of history here. Quite beautiful. This is the uh, tapestry with the adoration of Magi. This is an old radio of sorts on an antique uh, stand. Here we have the Montrance, Monstrance, with a virgin and child crowned by angels, a plate with Joseph and Potiphar's wife, footed dish with Samson and the Philistines. Who were with Adam and Eve below a band of sea monsters? And a platter with Moses and the brazen serpent. Also a plaque with the crucifixion. Rundell with the Last Supper and the crucifixion. Note the uh, attention to detail of these uh, historic events. Here we have a footed dish with Lot and his daughters. Rondells with scenes from the life of Christ and four saints. A platter with Joseph interpreting the Pharaoh's dream, footed dish cover, the scenes from the life of Noah. Also, we have a plaque with Pilate washing his feet, a plaque with Christ before Pilate, a plaque with Christ bearing his cross. We also, uh, by the way, the, the cross, some uh, depicted as being a um, stake. That's a, a matter of interpretation, although he was impaled on it. Plaque with Saint Anne holding the virgin and child. Plaque with Pilate washing his feet. And plaque with the mocking and scourging of Christ. So, pretty historic and graphic moments in time. Of course, we know that had he not done those things, 